Follow Hello Beats. We are on Amazon Music. Yes, we I need almost to mentioned forgot. that. We're on Amazon Music now. Brand new platform for us. We just found this out the other day. This has been a fantastic week for me personally and my sports takes. As well as takes. me. Uh, well, well, sports takes not I, necessarily. Sports takes wise. But just yes. happiness wise. I've but, been quite happy this week. Well, that's, that's good. Why have you been so happy? Well, Foles beat Brady again. Thank goodness that he's oh, he's 2 0 against Brady. Yep. We and kind of call it on the podcast. We really did, yeah. Uh, Instagram. And I um, love it. the Yankees lost. That was great. Which is amazing because no one likes the Yankees. So the Rays are moving on. Yeah. It's easy to root for the Rays just because they're like this. They're the small market team. Yeah. I mean, and then I, when they're playing the Yankees, I, it just gets I like up the to Rays. I don't have anything against them. They've There's, never done anything to make me dislike them. Well, I mean, they did play the Phillies in the 2008 World Series. But we but the beat Phillies them. beat them. Exactly. So that's why I like them. That's why I like them. Because <laughs> we, we beat them. We beat them. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's fair. Um,. But yeah, this week, Parker isn't here, unfortunately, Again. because, yeah, second week in a row, Parker. He's uh, slacking. He's, he uh, actually Should just, we kick him off? We're going to put a poll on Instagram oh, if we should kick him. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm just messing with you, Parker. Oh, man. All right. Um, actually, right before we started recording this, we recorded on Saturdays, we saw that Parker posted on the uh, podcast Instagram that he is currently at the uh, arena where Miracle on Ice happened. Which is for those cool. of you who don't like know. Blasting. I don't. What year was it? It was like 1980. 1980. The U.S. beat the Russians in the, the U.S. hockey team beat the Russian hockey team in the semifinals. Olympic, I think Olympic semifinals. Yeah, it was Olympic semifinals. Yeah. Which and is the also, Russians were really good. Yeah, so. they were. So yeah, it was a miracle, but yeah. it was on ice because it was hockey. Because they do play hockey on ice. In Not case all hockey you didn't is know that ice. either. Field hockey is on a field. Fair point. Fair point. Um, I don't think that a field hockey game would have quite been covered the way that the Olympic ice hockey was, but, you know, we don't have to get caught up in those details. Yeah. Um, this week has been... It's, I'm, I'm sad that Parker's not here, obviously, just because Parker's not, not here. But also because... Just kidding. Wow, we miss taking you, all kinds of shots at Parker and then being like, just kidding. Um, we miss because you, Because with the way things are going this week, I could be rubbing all of this in his face... Not all, by all of this, I mean what, two that things. That the Bucks are like zero and ten. That the Bucks lost to the Bears. Three things actually. The Bucks aren't playing well. His Tom Brady specifically count. doesn't know what down it is. He's like a senior citizen on the field <laughs> in that moment. Where am I? I don't know. Um, it's and all also, to set in. LeBron Jordan goat conversation. Uh, LeBron's making a pretty good case, I would say in these finals. So, unfortunately, Parker's not here, but hopefully he's listening to this, so, uh, Do you want to know who the real goat is? Bam Adebayo. I love saying his name. Why? Oh, just because... Just because of his name. His name is the goat. It's a pretty great name. His name is the goat. I can agree with you on that. Is there a better name in sports than Bam Adebayo? Tua Tua Tagovailoa. Tua Tagovailoa. That name is fun to say. Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is name is also fun, fun too. to say. Uh, I feel like that one's not quite as good as Tua though, because you get the alliteration with Tua. Bam Adebayo is really good though. Like it just blows. It comes on, out of the yeah, mouth. The nicely. flow and the like, the image you get when you hear the name Bam Adebayo yeah. is like an athletic yeah. person. You hear all these sports names, and then you think of your own name, and you're like. If I was ever to play a sport, I would not have that name. Exactly. Like I, I've had this like, conversation with my dad before, and he doesn't believe me. But like, there's certain names where if you hear that name, you can like, like kind of guess person. what position they play exactly. in football. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. What position is a Luke Paglia? Uh, definitely an offensive lineman. I think we've done this game before with us. You said Probably. Owen Lapp is a punter or a kicker. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's like it. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover in, like... Parker Wolf. Names. Ooh, Parker Wolf is actually kind of a vague one. I think that's a quarterback. I think Parker Wolf is a quarterback name. It could be a quarterback, yeah. Yeah. I'd even give it a tight end, maybe. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, but there is there is definitely... No, a quarterback. You can, you can tell... A quarterback? Maybe a cornerback? Quarter. Quarterback. Quarter. No, no, I just said, but maybe a cornerback. Maybe. Think? Maybe. Quarterback. When was the last time you saw a white cornerback, though? Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Good so point. I don't know if that one's possible. <laughs> but it yeah, there it's very easy to uh 
figure out, it's not very easy, but, like, you can kind of guess what position a guy plays. Like, for example, Trevor Lawrence. A guy named Trevor, what position do you think he plays? Obviously, quarterback. Obviously. Pretty easy. Uh, staying with Clemson, we record these on Saturdays. Obviously. Um, tonight. I don't think we've said that enough over the weeks. No, we no, record no, no, these no, no. on Saturdays. And so. it comes out on Monday. <laughs> um, <laughs> Our YouTube is on Wednesday, for those of you who don't know. Bonus video. In addition to the Wednesday one in the coming weeks, if you guys get Ella Beats to 200 followers on Instagram. She's at, what, 190? 190. Decide? Good pace. We got her 10 this week. And 10 we said, more this next we said week. said in two weeks from last yep. week. So just keep so the pace. So you guys have one more week. Yep. For a bonus video of us with Ella. And from, it uh, is Ella going Beats. to be hilarious. So, oh, I'm so excited. I, first of all, I just want I'm, to get to 200. I'm just going to say there, this ahead it's of time. Be it's fun. a competition. Which is kind of obvious. We don't usually do many non-competition videos. We're competitive people. But I'm going to win. Wow. Obviously. Okay, jeez. No doubt That's, about it. I don't know about that one. But <clears throat> okay. Have you not seen my skill? No. I'm going to win. All right, cool. Um, I forget. Oh, Saturday night. I'm very excited for this Clemson-Miami game. That's happening. Clemson's number one, obviously. Miami's number seven. Ooh. trying to finally... Miami hasn't been good for a while. They're trying to finally be good, and uh, they have Derek King at quarterback, mm -hmm. possibly the next Lamar Jackson. Possibly. He also... Derek sounds like a defensive back. Yeah. Shocking that he's a quarterback. When you hear does, Derek yeah, King, not sound like a... I would think that he's like the best safety in the league. But really good yeah. quarterback. Um... So him versus Trevor Lawrence is going to be very fun. I wouldn't be well, shocking if Clemson some, wins. Yeah, like they're expected to win. Names but... can be deceiving. Oh, Again, sometimes. going back to Tua Tagovailoa, it doesn't even sound like a football player. He sounds like a basketball player. Oh, I think Tua Tagovailoa sounds like top of his class, graduated with like a science degree, like not even an athlete. Hi, I am Doctor Tagovailoa. Yes, you exactly. Can call me Dr. T. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Exactly like that. Yep. I'm Uncle TT to my kids. Or to my Wait, nephews. what? TT to a tag of I know, but uncle. I'm uncle to my kids. <laughs> no, uncle that to was my the part I was more uncle to my about. nephews and nieces. I, I would say most uncles are like that. Okay, um, uncle DT. <laughs> Clubs in Miami is going to be a really fun game. Regardless of who wins, it's probably a preview of the ACC championship game. It would be a huge upset if Miami wins, but still going to be a very entertaining game. Excited to watch that. Uh, this is episode 69 of All Sports All the Time. David Bakhtiari. Packers offensive lineman uh, wears number 69. Very good offensive lineman. going with Jared Allen. I think he... No, I, I went with the current guy. Jared Allen was the best player ever to wear number 69. Really good defensive lineman yeah. for about 10 years. Um, edge rusher, kind of a crazy guy, but uh, <laughs> you kind of need to be a little bit crazy to be an edge rusher, I think. Um, so David Bakhtiari, I think, is the only current football player that wears number 69. Except think, for Jason Kelsey. No, he wears 62. I know. I said that before the episode. Every time. Every single time. We're, we're pre-game, and Luke's like, When we get so, to episode 162, I'll say Jason Kelsey. And you'll still be wrong, because he doesn't wear number no. 162. No, but it's He wears enough. number 62. We already passed 62, but though. Ever since episode, like, 60, I think, Luke's... I'll, be, I'll say, like, the number of the episode, and Luke's like, Jason Kelsey. Because I know he wears number 60-something. 62. You would so, think after next 10 episode, weeks of doing this, it would be drilled into your head, next but I guess not. <laughs> next episode, I will not be saying Jason Kelsey. Next episode, 70. Can you name the Eagles player that wears number 70? No. I don't think there... I, I don't think there is one. I can't name if they are. Are there any Eagles... Wait, so, do they even wear in the 70s? Yeah. Jason Peters wears 71. Oh. I think one of their rookies, Nate Herbig, wears 73. Either okay. Nate Herbig or Jack Driscoll. I get them confused. They were like late round offensive line yeah. picks. But anyway, got a little bit off topic there. All sports all the time. So let's start off with some sports headlines. That we will. Friday night was Friday. a game for, well, it was a night for the ages with all the craziness we Jimmy had Jimmy Butler and LeBron James. Oh my goodness. They both, not just one of them, not what just one carry to team, they both went off. It was both crazy. Both of them just absolutely yeah. demolished the record of, not record, <coughs> but like they both demolished the amount of points that anybody else scored on either team. 
pretty much. Yeah, it. I was so happy that uh, this was the first finals game that I stayed up to watch the whole thing of because it I was didn't. Friday night. I uh, watched the Yankees Rays game, which we'll get to later. Yeah, we don't have cable at our house, so we were watching the finals on ABC. Um, but yeah, this game was crazy. The Heat led pretty much the whole time. The Lakers took the lead for the first time, I think, in the whole game, 97-96, with about three minutes left. Uh, and then LeBron took over the whole game, pretty much. As soon as Anthony Davis got hurt, LeBron took over, scored 40 points, almost wow. had a triple-double again. I feel like every time this whole finals, or even just this whole playoffs, he has, like, he almost has a triple-double where it's, like, Oh, eight assists, nine rebounds, nice, like, so close to a triple-double. For those of you who don't know, a triple-double, Luke didn't know, so I, I, did not. I might have to explain this. A triple-double in basketball is when you score double-digit points, like, more than ten, more than ten rebounds, and more than ten assists. It's basically, like, basically shows how well-rounded of a player you are on offense, if you can... Can we just say score that assist um, and rebound? I was playing basketball last night with some friends, and I think personally I could have easily beaten LeBron James. I think I dropped like fifty some points, maybe. What? I had like a quadruple double. What was it? Two on two. What? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, that, was two two. I was like, how did you? Score? I was I was amazing. Two I on think, two. Okay. Wow. I think I think I could be a, the newest NBA star. No, I'm just saying that. I'll let others have their opinion, but I did pretty good. I missed ninety percent of the shots I took from far away. From far away. But I just stood under. I just stood under the net and let them throw the ball to me because yep. I was taller than all of them. Uh, okay. so you I were just, like Shaq. Yeah, I just stuck my arms up and let them mm. throw it to me, and then okay. I made I made the easy shot. All right. That if any be, of them are listening, they can, they'll probably might be comment one of the down most below. Ridiculous ones you've ever had, but it, okay. Yeah. If any of them are listening right now, they'll probably comment down below and call me stupid. For Where that. are you trying to go with that? I'll be the next NBA star because I did good in a two-on-two pickup game. And then that was it. I didn't even do good. Was, where were we? What? You said you dropped 50. <laughs> I dropped like 10. I'm so confused. Where were I you was, trying to go? Where were I you was trying to take just this? trying to joke around. What? I doesn't know how to be I, I wasn't was sure it's, it's two-on-two if it was high-scoring Guys. Enough. You could have scored a Jimmy lot. Butler are amazing. Next. You could, That's oh, geez. over here. I was, so I was very confused because it was you, two I am two. terrible at basketball. Have you ever seen me play basketball? I have. You can't shoot, but if they were shorter than you, I I could totally picture you just catching it. Layup. Okay, well, I was doing that. Yeah. But so that, that, we didn't I, play for I long enough for me that. to drop 50 points. Oh, okay. All right. I don't even know where we were. LeBron and Jimmy Butler are really good. Um... But the only difference here was Jimmy Butler's supporting cast actually helped him out. Yeah. Whereas LeBron, on his last four assist attempts in the final two minutes, were wide open threes, two of them to Contavious Caldwell Pope, two of them to Danny Green. 0 for 4 on those wide open threes. Uh, the last of which was the most wide open with about six seconds left where, no, it was a little more than 10 to, like, we'll say 10 seconds left, where LeBron drove to the right, Four Heat players collapsed. He swings it out to the top of the three-point line. Danny Green, wide open, short, hits the front of the rim. Markeith Morris throws it out of bounds. It was one of the worst. The only part of that game that I bad. saw was LeBron's really deep three. Yeah, LeBron had one of his best three-point shooting games. It was games so clean. It was ever. That's one of the best like, was, things to see. You see someone taking mm -hmm. a deep three, and it just it doesn't even, like... The net barely moves. That's yeah. one of the cleanest things to see. Yeah. Just so smooth. And LeBron's amazing performance last night, 40 points, almost a triple-double, made me think, because, you know, I'm always looking for an angle, whether Parker's here or not, to make my case of why LeBron is the GOAT better than Jordan. And I thought, how many times has LeBron done this where he has this amazing performance and his team blows it, his supporting cast blows it? So, I went to probasketballreference.com, oh, no. went to his playoff game logs, and created my own stat. We kind of need a <laughs> name for this, but it's basically, um, to summarize it, it's uh, superstar played well 
and rest of team choked type of stat. Yeah. So the way I did this was I went and saw in LeBron's playoff games how many times he's had a triple-double Yeah. and how many times his team has won when he had in the games that he's had a triple-double. Yeah. LeBron has had a triple-double 27 times in the playoffs. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. His team has lost 10 out of those 27. That's 37% of you guys the games. got to pick it up. That's how bad of teams LeBron plays with. And that's one of my biggest points with LeBron being better, is that Jordan had a much better supporting cast. LeBron's teammates are, they're okay, but they're not like Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman level good, where they're like with the Lakers, where they miss four straight threes at the end of the game, and if they hit even one of those, we go to at least overtime. Um, and then Michael Jordan's team never lost when he scored a triple-double. Wow. Not once. Now, he did only have two, but even that's an indictment. That's an indictment against Jordan because he only has two triple-doubles in the playoffs. Also, interesting stat I found when I was looking up Jordan's triple-doubles. Michael Jordan had 28 triple-doubles in his entire career, regular season and playoffs. LeBron has 27 just in the playoffs. If he gets one more, he'll have the same amount of triple-doubles in the playoffs as Michael Jordan had his entire career in any game. Wow. Which I found shocking. So, basically, the story here, Jordan was a better pure scorer, but LeBron is better at everything else. Assisting, rebounding, defense, all of that. And also, Michael Jordan had a better supporting cast. So, Parker's not here to respond to that. Feel free to respond in the comments, Parker, or at lunch on Monday or (laughs) Tuesday or whenever you get around to... Listening to this, we're going to have to quiz Parker on back-to-back episodes. We said we were going to quiz him, and then he's not here again this week. So, uh, well, he's I, probably not going to be here next week he either. Might, he's just avoiding the quizzes until eventually we give up. Like, we're not going to quiz you on a oh, no, episode not from a month you're ago. You're getting quizzed. If you wow. stop showing up, you're going to be quizzed on, like, seven straight episodes, and then you're going to fail. Oh. Maybe he's avoiding us because when we did the... Um, we did the reaction video, which you guys should go <laughs> oh, yeah. check out. It was a great uh, video. Our video hilarious. last week, it was really funny, where we reacted to our first episode together from like a it's year and a half ago. Side, but you should definitely watch it. It's definitely the worth end. your the time. It's hilarious. Definitely worth your time. Um, where, basically, we found out that in that episode, we were talking about our NBA picks for this season, which still hasn't ended. Um, and we were like, yeah, the winner's going to get $5. We shook hands on it. And Parker and I were both like, whoa, I had no idea that even happened. Yeah. So Parker owes me $5. Be, um, yeah. So maybe maybe that's why. Okay, well, while you, were, possible. while you were here watching your NBA Finals game, or playoff game, whatever, Yep. I was home watching the yankees Rays game, which, by the way, was very entertaining. It was a close game the whole time. Yeah. One, Pitcher's one, duel. Yeah, 1-1 one, one going into the, honestly, I don't know. The what, eighth inning. Eighth inning. Bottom yeah. of the eighth. I didn't. I didn't stay up and watch the whole thing. But the Rays were the home um, team. Home crowd was going crazy. Yeah. But then Aroldis Chapman blew another game. Gave up a home run to yep. I, who hit the home run? Do you know who hit the home run? I don't know who hit the home run. I but he gave up another. I home don't run remember to the Rays. his name. No, it was some guy that I'd never heard of. Yeah, he gave up another home, uh, home run to the Rays, and they won yep. the game. Not a walk off, but essentially a walk off. Because they because their bullpen is insane. Yeah, because the Yankees did nothing in that ninth inning. So yeah, so that that was a that was a um, fifth game five. Yeah, winner take all. Yeah. So now the ALCS and the NLCS are set. We have the Astros, everybody's favorite, versus the Rays. Let's go Rays. And the Braves versus the Dodgers, which I picked. As the NLCS in the whiteboard picks. Jeb Owen. Also check Could out that video. That, game? that series, Dodgers. Good. Yep. Are the Dodgers going to make it to the World Series again and then choke? Uh, no, the Dodgers are going to win it all this year. This is the Dodgers I'd year. like to see the Dodgers win it all, but part of me is just thinking, are they going to choke this again? This is the Dodgers is this their year? year. I feel like in other years they've been really good and choked, but I feel like this year they're just like really Even good. better. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're this, just, this is they're just, their year. Yeah. Yes. This is like they're an unstoppable force this year. Yes. Speaking of unstoppable forces, Nick Foles. Buccaneers versus Two and Bears against Brady. Was the Thursday night game. We all expected Brady this, was very obviously. mad. He didn't shake his hand again. 
This is the second time. He didn't shake his hand yeah, after the it's Super kind Bowl of game. One of the dumbest rivalries. Didn't ever. shake his hand well, after he won this game. This wasn't even a meaningful game. It was literally a Thursday night football game. Just shake his hand. Yeah. Come on, man. Shake his hand. Yeah. Tom Brady did not look great. Not the Bears have a really good pass rush, especially Khalil Mack. He was missing. Did you Chris see Godwin, him? Win, Leonard just Fournette. Tossed the. Oh, Tristan Wirfs? Yeah. Yeah, he just, like, threw it 360 with 60 pounds. Uh-huh. Aaron six, Donald and Khalil Mack. 6'3 or 6'5 or something right. like that. Oh, my goodness. Khalil Mack is a beast. It's insane how strong those guys are. But, just, uh... Just took him and just chucked him to the ground. Yeah. Brady had a... Like, I could do that to, like, oh. Owen, but that's uh, probably not... Actually, no, I could even do that to Owen. Maybe. I could do it to, like, my brother. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, this is, like, 365 pounds of... <laughs> Muscle, like how do you? Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's got to be so scary having those guys rushing. <laughs> I would be running. <laughs> you just run away. I would Offensive run away. lineman named Luke Paglia would just not be blocking at all. Oh no no no! I meant if like one of these guys was just chasing me. Oh I know yeah. No I didn't mean like in an actual football game. I know but you're in a football game but, I would absolutely destroy them. But your them. name connotes an offensive lineman, so I was yeah, trying. But to... I'm not an offensive lineman but, yet. But your name sounds like you would be. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. We're on the same page there. Uh, Tom Brady had a, I don't want to call it a bad game, but he did not have a good game either. Not at all. Not at all. Um, he's sure, defining. he was missing a couple of weapons, but if he's really the GOAT, like every, like a lot of people think he is, <coughs> this Parker, season has not he been wouldn't a great need season all of him. his weapons to beat the Bears. He, everyone saw it towards the end of last season. Last, last season. season. He started to decline. Yep. We all saw that. And then this yeah. year, people were Even thinking. Even Belichick couldn't save him from that decline. Yeah. Even this year, people were thinking, fresh start with the Bucks. He's going to be good. He's got receivers. He's got Gronk back. He's going to be the GOAT again. But I mean, I think he's still going to... The Buccaneers will probably make the playoffs. Probably. But but hey, ultimately, he's not, not looking like any they're not the best amazing quarterback. Yeah. I, there's definitely better quarterbacks this season. Yes. Much better. And better quarterbacks all time, but we don't have time to get into that. Uh, not today. Are the Bears the worst 4-1 team you've ever seen? They're not that bad, but they're kind of bad. They're 4-1. And it's the Texans insane. are 0 and 4. Well, yeah, that's why They've Bill O'Brien got fired. Yeah. They did. Oh, that's our next they had to line. start off Bill with Ryan. Chiefs uh Chiefs Texans Steelers. Texans did not play They the did not play the who it was Chiefs, Chiefs Ravens, Ravens Steelers. Steelers. Sorry. And this week That's a rough they start. Week? They're playing Broncos, I think. No. Well, Broncos were playing the Titans. I, I mean, Bill O'Brien already got fired, so he doesn't really care about that. But everybody, especially on the internet, was so happy for the Texans when Bill O'Brien finally was fired last week. Well, I guess it was still technically this week. A couple of days ago, by the time you guys are listening to this, it'll be last week. Um, it's about time, because please tell me one good thing that Bill O'Brien did other than drafting Deshaun Watson. Not trade away DeAndre Hopkins. That was not good. That was a stupid move. Yeah, well, sorry, that's actually For probably the better game. Let's list, let's list the dumb things. Cause, well, everybody knows about those. So the, the one good thing he did, draft Deshaun Watson. That was the, the best pros. move he could have made. And now, well, pros, he drafted Deshaun Watson, and yeah. he took the team to the playoffs, I think, three times in his tenure. Yeah. And then the cons. Everything else he, he did. He traded away all of their top picks for the next year for yep. uh, Laramie Tunsil and Kenny Stills. Yep. He traded the best receiver in the league yep. for a running back and a, tuna and a second round pick. Um, he what? What else was there? There was something. Else I don't know, that, but he there was something else he off. did that the players didn't like him, and then the players didn't like him even more when he and JJ Watt had a confrontation. JJ Watt that was is the like end of such that. a like, cool guy. Like, he's chill. He's never getting up there in people's faces. If you but lose J.J. Watt as the coach, you know you're done. If you can make J.J. Watt mad, you That's failed it. miserably you somehow. You know you're done. Like, it's over. So, uh, yep, Bill O'Brien finally got fired. It was a little strange, the timing of it, because they're, like, four games in, but... Yeah, but it was definitely... Better well sooner needed. than never, as yeah. they say. Well, um, <laughs> better late than never. Yeah, but they didn't do it later. They did better it sooner than never. I don't know. They signed him sooner. Um, well, no, no. I'd say better late than never because he, he should have been fired after he traded away DeAndre Hopkins. Actually, that's a good point. So, it so was better, better late, late than, than never. never. Good job, Texans. <laughs> Ella Eats. Go follow her. Remember, 200 followers. You guys have one more week you to do this. You have one week. 
And you get a special video. Bonus video. Bonus It won't video. even count as the Wednesday video. It's not the video. Wednesday It'll YouTube video. It's an it extra one. literally just a special extra video yes. that will be amazing because yeah. it's going to be funny. It's going to be entertaining. And it's going to be competitive. That it is. So let's get Ella Beats to 200 subscribers. She was at 180 last week. She's at 190 this week. So good Ten pace. 10 more. Yeah. Good Ten pace, more. Ten guys. more, guys. Come on. Yep. That's all we need. I'm sure there's 10 of you listening to this that haven't followed her on Instagram, so... Do it. Just do it. Actually, pause this. Yeah, just stop listening at this very moment. Right now. But we didn't tell them what to do. They paused. They paused it. Yeah, but we didn't tell them what to do. And then go follow at Ella Beats. Please, go Did follow. Did you do it yet? If you didn't do it yet, now you pause and go follow. Or if you don't do it yet, at the end of the video, go follow. Just, just go follow. It, the, the point is just to go follow. Go to Instagram. I don't care when, Find how, where means. you do follow. it. Just do it. Yes. You want to tell the people about our other sponsor, Luke? Yeah. Our other sponsor is JG Grable Plumbing. It is. I don't know why we're doing this. I don't know either. Thing. It's kind of JG Grable Plumbing, neck, but a family-owned company that is located near us, which I said last week, but I'm not disclosing our location, so... Yeah, I think that'd be slightly... Elite. Those of you not who elite, know us... As minors. ...will be allowed to contact JG Grey, but those of you in other countries, I'm sorry. They are following are in Australia? Necessarily. They don't have a branch in Australia. No, I, yet. I'm sorry. Not yet. Yet, yet. Maybe we can get them to... JG Grey, but worldwide. <laughs> no, but JG Grey, but they, um, they fix all your plumbing needs. They go from... Hydronic heating to fixing a little leak in a pipe in your sink in your kitchen. They do everything. I'm not going to name everything because they do so much. So make sure you go check out their website, www.jggraybill.com, to see what all they can do. And if you want plumbing fixings, make sure you contact them at 717-768-3276. Or you can go to their website, like I said earlier, www.jggraybill.com, and contact them that way. Now, Owen... If you use JG Graybill, what else can you do? Like if you well, if you when you purchase their services, them, yeah, you can mention, "Hey, I heard about you guys on all sorts all the time, and uh, there is an offer that you guys have where if you mention that, you get twenty five dollars off. So could I have twenty five dollars off? That's awesome. Twenty five, and then they'll say yes. So what? Save, I, why, would can, why, why would you not? What would are you the negatives here? We just did the pros and cons for. Bill O'Brien a few minutes ago, what... There are no cons There's to this. no cons at all. Like, None. this is the opposite of Bill O'Brien. Pro. <laughs> J.G. Grable, the opposite of Bill <laughs> O'Brien. They really are. Yeah! Because they're good. What a rallying cry. <laughs> it's a high bar. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody ever insults you about anything, be like, yeah, but at least I'm better at that than Bill O'Brien. Yeah, Bill O'Brien is just Was the Was at being a general manager. Yeah. It's a real high bar. High standard. Okay. Well. Speaking of high standards, the Samsung Lions. They are not a high standard. They are a very low standard. 56, I bet you can't 70, guess, and 3. I bet you can't guess what place they're in. It hasn't changed. They're still For in For the last place. three months. So, so when you look place. at the stats, the seventh place team is about 12 games behind. Or no, what was it? 14 games behind? The, so first place is the NC yeah. Dinos. And then second place is seven games back of them. Yeah. Third is about eight. And then there's a and few then, teams. Yeah. It goes down like seventh eight, nine, is about 10, like, 11, 12. Seventh is about 14 games behind. Yep. The Samsung Lions are like, what, 27 games behind, I think it was? I believe so. And then... In eighth the, place. In eighth place. And then the ninth place team was like 34 games behind. Mm -hmm. Not even close. Yeah. So, and the tenth place. There's ten teams. So yeah, yeah ninth and tenth. The, the Samsung Lions are in a section... Of they are own. really bad. A league of their own. They are very bad. Yeah, we might not have picked the best team. But we there. gotta stick with our team. Speaking of picking teams, Parker's picks versus Paglia's picks. Now I don't have here we my go. picks in, in front of me right now, but I think I remember generally who I picked for most of the oh, games. Luke getting a little risky here. Um, so And if I don't then I'll make a pick on the spot. Wow. Alright. Parker and Luke both fell uh, both of their records fell. Uh, because they both picked the Buccaneers on Thursday night. I almost picked the Bears, but then I'm like, nah. Should have picked the Bears. Terrible. Uh, Parker is one game back of Luke, 39, 24, and 1. Luke is 40, 23, and 1. Uh, could you pull up the games real quick while I pull up the picks that Parker sent me? 
because once again, he is not here. So I will be reading Parker's picks to you guys. This is week five of the NFL season. Uh, you guys have had, I don't remember what your records were last year, but you guys have had a pretty good season so I far. Think so. Uh, okay. Winning records every week. There was one rough week in there that brought them down a little bit. But uh, what's our first game, Luke? This, that's week two. We won week five. We are not in week two anymore. First game was Bears Buccaneers. Obviously, we have picked the Bucks. We oh, and one that on game. that one. Next up, we've got Jaguars Texans starting the one o'clock games on mm -hmm. Sunday. No idea who's going to be the interim coach for the Texans. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Watch the Texans but win their first game without, without Bill O'Brien. I think, immediately I think that's going to happen. I picked the Texans. I just think that they're going to beat the Jaguars. Because, for one, the Jaguars aren't that good. But and Gardner Minshew, though. Yeah. But I still think but the Gardner Texans Minshew. are going to win. But then you also think, but Bill O'Brien. And guess who's good not point. there? Bill O'Brien. Texans are going to win that game. Parker agrees with you. He also has the Texans winning that. Bengals, Ravens, not even a question. Ravens. Just yep. Parker also Ravens, has the Ravens. are too good. We don't have to, to spend much time on that one. Panthers, Falcons. This was a more difficult pick, but I still went with the Falcons. I feel like they've gotten unlucky this year. I think the Falcons are going to win. They finally have all their wide receivers healthy, we think. We think. We think. They we should think. have all their wide receivers healthy. Yeah. Healthy. Parker agrees. He also has the Falcons, probably just because he wants Julio Jones to do well for his fantasy team. Raiders, Chiefs. I don't think there's much discussion, despite the Chiefs that what they've shown, or despite what the Raiders have shown that they can do this season. I think the Chiefs are still going to win this. Yep. Parker also has the Chiefs. Cardinals, Jets. Don't ever pick the Jets. I, just go Cardinals. Cardinals. Yep. That was another easy one. A lot of easy games. This Eagles, week. Steelers. I hate to do this, but I feel like. The Steelers are going to win this matchup. I just, the Eagles have not impressed me enough this season to allow me to pick them. Parker also has the Steelers coming off an unexpected bye week, winning the yeah. Battle of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, Rams football team. Rams. Just, it, there's nothing to say about that. Yep. Also the Rams for Parker. This Dolphins, is, Dolphins. These games are okay. pretty easy to yeah. pick so far. Not Starting the 4 o'clock games, Dolphins, Niners. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I know it's Whoa! such an odd take. It's wow. so out there, but okay. I, I'm going with the Dolphins. I don't know. Counting on some Fitz magic to take down yeah, the injured I think, 49ers team. I think, Garoppolo's um, coming back. Yeah. Wow. But that was a bold I pick. I am going to go with the Dolphins. Bold pick. Talking to one of my friends who is a Niners fan was talking to me about all their injuries and how they don't have any cornerbacks left. And yeah, it's so bad. I think bad. if... Fitzpatrick can pull what he did against Gardner Minshew, what was it, two weeks ago? Or a week ago or something? Uh, yeah, it was two weeks ago. Two weeks Thursday ago. Thursday night, I yeah. believe. I think he could win this yeah. game. Deep shots to Devontae Parker, scoring touchdowns. They don't have anyone to cover. <laughs> the Dolphins are going to beat the 49ers by scoring touchdowns. You heard it here first. That they are. That's Dolphins analysis are win this right game. there. That could be our make or break game because Parker has the 49ers winning that one. So keep an eye on 49ers Dolphins. Just like last week, we told you to keep an eye on Jaguars Bengals. <laughs> but this one might act actually, no, it's not gonna be. Nah, we'll no. see. Um, Giants Cowboys. As much as I hate to do it, I'm picking the Cowboys again. Even though they're terrible. The Giants are more terrible. Good point. Parker agrees. Another yes, NFC Cowboys win. Another NFC East matchup. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, Colts Browns. Owen, oh, I hate to do this, but I might have to jump with the Browns bandwagon. They are looking Let's go! good this year. You guys are I, finally I've coming on to the Browns I've always hated to do it, but side. the Browns are actually looking really good this year. Like, I've been here for a year and a half. Where have you guys been? A day. I said where have you? I, oh, like what bandwagon it, have we been? Yeah. You've, you've been question. off elsewhere. Parker's, I don't know. Parker, Parker apparently, just jumped on the Bucks bandwagon. Yeah, but so. he also picked the Browns in this game, so Parker... Welcome aboard, my well, friend. The Colts just aren't great. That could also be why. That too, but let's let's focus on the positives okay, here, okay. Luke. Browns really good. Yeah, the Browns are looking good, especially after last week's performance. They just they yeah. look really good. Yes. Vikings, Seahawks. Seahawks are unstoppable. They're gonna win. Yup. That was the eight o'clock game, and then the Monday night game is Broncos Patriots. Mm -hmm. I have the Patriots winning that game, even though Cam Newton's not quite back yet. I think the Patriots are still good enough to win that game. That 
is going to be an interesting one because the Patriots will likely be without Cam Newton and Stefan Gilmore, the two guys you would and least want to be without. Parker agrees on that one. Since there is an odd way that they're doing games this year, there's a second Monday game. The classic 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock Monday, Monday night, night doubleheader. <laughs> the Chargers Saints. Saints are, what, 2-2? Two and two? So they're, yes. they're not as good as people expected them to be, but they're still good enough to beat the Chargers because the Chargers are nobodies. Um, and then the very usual common tu uh, Tuesday game, because we see Tuesday games in the NFL all the time. Yeah, of course. Uh, Bills, Titans. This was a difficult one. I don't remember who I picked. Um, I'm going to go with the Bills. I'm kind of confused here because looking at the schedule, we're scrolling through week five and week six is next. Bills Chiefs was supposed to be Thursday night of week six. How are they doing that one? What's happening there? <laughs> I don't the know. Bills can't play Tuesday and then Thursday. That's like a one day break. That I... can't work. There's no possible way. Unless they're, they're gonna, gonna make have them to do it. They're probably gonna have to like swap out a team that maybe they'll swap was off for a while. Use the Monday game. Maybe they'll put Cardinals Cap. <laughs> what does what that do? They Maybe might. they'll put Cardinals Cowboys. Maybe they'll swap the Monday night and the Thursday night game. That that's possible. Ooh, or they could week swap seven. Packers oh, Packers. Week seven is Giants Eagles. Amazing Thursday night matchup again. Wow, it's great. Well, I mean, last time the Eagles played the Giants, or oh, was that Thursday night or Monday night? The last Monday. time the Eagles played the Giants in prime time was that amazing comeback that we had last year. Yeah. So, the last not Eagles game that I went to was a Giants Eagles game. Oh wait, no. I've never been to an Eagles game. No, no, no. I've been to three, maybe. Wow. Two. Two nice. or three. And the first one I ever went to was a Giants-Eagles game. And the, it was when the G Eagles shut out the Giants. Ooh. It was like 27-0. That's a fun game that to game. go to. A shutout? I think I do. It yeah. was like 2014, maybe. Nice. It was amazing. It was fun, fun to game. watch. Yeah. Never um, in doubt. Uh, Parker also has the Saints, and he also has the Bills. I'm actually... I haven't, like... I feel like we're pretty in tune with what's happening in sports. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about this Tuesday Thursday no, scenario um, for the Bills. They haven't said absolutely. They've said absolutely nothing. Yeah, the NFL. I think is maybe not good at explaining. Their I plans. think maybe when Sunday hits and football games are actually starting, because we'll honestly, unless it's a good Thursday night game, those games are pretty irrelevant. I mean, the most relevant one was the first one of the season because it was the first football game of the season. But. Yeah, and also the Chiefs were playing. Yeah. But, yeah, that's um, that's going to be really interesting. We'll see how yeah. that one plays we'll, out. Yeah. I have not heard much about that. Let's go to our final, final segment. Final segment of the week. Two nicknames and a lie. Owen, would you like to go first? You never go first. I never go first. That's, that's very kind of you, Luke. Uh, sure, I will go first. Um, two nicknames and a lie. The the way this works. Why are you are you like rotating I, so that you can I, see my no, facial I just, I just, expressions better to tell if I'm want, lying? I just don't want you to see my head. Oh, okay. I put my phone back here so you can't see it. Um, I'm sure that most. Well, now I can see your iPad. Uh, I'm sure that most of you have played two truths and a lie. Uh, this is the same idea except with nicknames with, of players. Two nicknames and a lie. So We're my smart. player is Rajan Rondo. Okay, that's a that's a fun name. Here are three totally real nicknames. Okay, got it. One, the yoga instructor. Two, playoff Rondo. Three, swag. None of them even relate to each other in any way, shape, None, or form. Nope, not at all. The yoga instructor. I don't think you could have thunk of. <laughs> I don't think you could have thanked. Thunk that one up? I don't think you could have thunk that one up. That one is just so random and off the wall, out of nowhere, from... Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Just, no, that's not... That's real. Okay. Um, playoff? What was it? Playoff Rondo? Yeah. And Swag. swag. I gotta go Playoff Rondo. I feel like Swag is just so odd that it's that's real. Mm -hmm. it's just so random. But I'm gonna go Playoff Rondo. <sighs> That's correct. Unfortunately, I was banking. I was banking too much on your basketball knowledge. I was hoping that you would have heard Parker or somebody refer to him as Playoff Rondo, because that's what everybody's been calling him. Yeah. In the playoffs, um, but it's not one of his officially li listed nicknames. I've never heard him referred to as Playoff. Rondo, so yeah, so. I I bet wrong on you knowing that. Um, <laughs> his three official listed nicknames are Johnny Swag and the Yoga Instructor. 
Well, if you would have went I don't know that, why for any of them. I don't, I probably, I don't know, I don't know if but I would have gone with Johnny. Johnny is so, like. That's even more random. I probably would have gone with Swag if you would have said Johnny. Yeah. So, Playoff Rondo is technically one of his nicknames, but it's not officially listed. So, Luke finally wins one. In two it's, nicknames it's, in a lie. It's been a while. It's, yeah, it really has. It's been a minute. I don't know how long, but quite a long time. Quite so, a long time. let's see if I can match you. So, I did Gardner Minshew. Ooh, there should be some good ones on here. Yes. So we've got the classic Minshew Mania. We've got Mustache. Just and we've mustache. got Jockstrap King. Oh, I know Jockstrap King is one of his official ones. Okay. For sure. Um, Minshew Mania and Mustache. Those are both pretty generic. Um... I don't think that Minshew Mania would be listed as a nickname for him, because nobody actually calls him Minshew Mania. It's just kind of the, like, atmosphere surrounding him. So I'm going to say Minshew Mania is fake. That is correct. Let's go! That's four in a row. Yeah, that's right. I think. No, five. It's five. Five? I think it's five. Let's go. I'm on Owen's fire. On street. So good at this game. I don't know why. It's pretty random. Uh, yeah. I, I, Owen's on no, I can't Owen's really on explain fire. why I'm Owen good is at this like, game. Doesn't really make sense. Very oddly undefeated. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's say I'm undefeated. Let's go with that. I was about to say no. I don't think I am. But let's let's say I am. I like that a lot better. Thank you guys for listening. This has been episode 69 of All Sports All the Time. We are hitting number 70 next week. We are. Please the make big sure to. all 70. We're over the hill, guys. We're over the hill. We weren't over the hill. 70 is the hill. No, 50 is like the hill. 50, one year is the hill. What? One year is the hill. Because 52 weeks, we were episode 51, yeah, I, I think, was, joking. was a year I was for joking. us. So we were, maybe yeah. every year is a new hill. But like, over the hill just means you're old. Oh, I know. So like, what age determines but like, over the hill? We, for a podcast, I don't know what that is. We're not over the hill, we've barely been recording for a year. No. Yeah, there's no way we're over the hill. No, we're good. It'd be pretty sad if you were over the hill a year into doing a podcast. That'd be very sad. It'd be kind of depressing. Thank you for uh, watching. Please follow us on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, follow LLV. We are on Amazon Music. Yes, I almost mentioned forgot. that. We're on Amazon Music now. Brand new platform for us. We just found this out the other day because yeah, we were curious. I can't believe I almost forgot Owen this. Owen submitted our podcast to be on Amazon Music what, a couple of weeks ago and... Um, it was like I submitted two it ago. like I got an email from them. Yeah, saying like, "Hey, Amazon Music is putting podcasts on their app now. Um, would you be interested?" And I was like, "Yeah, this isn't a scam, right?" Yeah, sure. Um, and so I sent them our podcast, <laughs> and then and I didn't receive responded. a confirmation like, so "Hey, then, we put it up." So then we went on Amazon Music ourselves and searched like it a up, month later, and we're right there. They've got all of our. All sports like, all Owen's time. not physically putting them on there. It's there. But no, like, I sent them the RSS feed, and they, yeah, it's got just, all the episodes. It, it's, it had our most recent, which was Flying so, Magic Birds, which was last week. I think that, well, when we checked it, it was the one from last yeah, week. Yeah. Now it... Now... Yeah, it, yeah. Had, it had all the episodes that were up uh, recently. I think it has the 40 most recent episodes. Yeah. So if you were looking from anything episode 20 and down, sorry, you're going to have to go to the website, which... It comes works up fine. if you Google all sorts yeah. all the time. Podcast, first, first thing. Uh, that's another thing for us to promote. So go check us out on Amazon Music if you prefer that I think to it, I Apple think, Podcasts. Or I think anything. on Amazon Music it's following. Like, oh, for you, if you especially if you're like Android or Samsung or anything like yeah. that. Now you can get now us you on, can Amazon hear it music. on Amazon Music. Um, and I think you just I think following is what you do on that. I don't think it's subscribing. I think it's following on Amazon Music. So make sure you follow our podcast on follow. Amazon Music. Amazon Music, subscribe, Apple Podcasts. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, follow on can Instagram. You... Just do it all. Yeah, do all of the verbs and the adjectives that you can do to uh, go to all of our platforms. Uh, can you... I know on Apple Podcasts you can like rate review. and review. Can you do that on Amazon Music for a I podcast? I don't know. I didn't look enough to see you guys the, get back to us let us know i guess if we go to our podcast and see yeah. any reviews we'll know yeah so if you can if you please can, do that awesome. that'd be do great that. but if not it's um, okay we still appreciate the, the follow yeah thank you guys for listening hopefully parker's back next week hopefully who knows no one knows